Alolan Grimer runs some pretty weird moves in Generation 9 Little Cop. One of such moves is Giga Drain. At first glance, the inclusion of Giga Drain on Grimer might seem a bit strange. Grimer boasts an impressive attack stat, but falters in the special attacking department. Typically, you'd find Grimer running moves like Knock Off, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, or Gunk Shot if you were feeling risky that day, and often a support move like Memento. So why the deviation? Well, it all came down to countering one common threat. Shelter. Traditionally, Shelter could just come in on Grimer and get a free shell smash off, and the only thing Grimer could do about it was to use Knock Off, doing minimal damage as Shelter proceeded to sweep your entire team. Enter Giga Drain. By investing slightly in its special attack and adjusting its nature, Grimer could now stand a better chance. Shelter's naturally low special defense, further weakened by Shell Smash, made Giga Drain a surprising KO option. Additionally, Giga Drain paired with Terra Grass came in handy when dealing with Mudbray, one of Grimer's top checks in the tier. Another peculiar move in Grimer's arsenal is Imprison. If you didn't know, if a Pokemon uses Imprison, then as long as the user remains in battle, opponents cannot use any move which is also known by the user. This move is pretty niche and rarely sees any use outside of VGC battles. So why does Grimer run it? Well, it's primarily used to counter other Grimer. That's right, at one point, Grimer was so ubiquitous that trainers often resorted to imprison just to handle the mirror matches. This strategy proved to be pretty effective since oftentimes the opponent's only reliable switch into Grimer's knockoff was, well, their own Grimer. Imprison effectively forced opponents into awkward switches to manage Grimer's presence on the field. Last but not least, let's talk about Mudshot. This move may seem like a simple choice, but it offers Grimer some much needed coverage. Mudshot is good at handling other Grimer, Glimmeth, and other various ground weak Pokemon that Grimer usually struggles to deal with. Having Mudshot was especially valuable for handling Tinkatink. You see, Tinkatink posed a significant threat to Grimer thanks to its pickpocket ability. Pickpocket allows Tinkatink to steal an item from opponents upon contact if it has no item of its own. This meant that Grimer had to be cautious when using knockoff, as if Tinkatink got hit with knockoff, then it effectively pulled an Uno reverse stealing Grimer's item instead. Mudshot offered a solution to that. It dealt big damage to Tinkatink while also lowering its speed, which was pretty useful. Having some extra coverage in its moveset proved to be pretty useful, often catching opponents off guard. Now, it's important to note that a lot of this information is now outdated. These strategies were relevant in the pre-DLC Scarlet and Violet meta, but after the DLC's release, Grimer's popularity kind of fell off and you won't really encounter it a lot in today's meta. Keep that in mind when reflecting on these moves. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see ya.